What is up everybody, it's Tech right here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to import Fortnite models to Blender. Now, uh, in the description I'm gonna leave a link to this page, where you can have all the links you need. Uh, go to the first link, and it'll bring you here. You're just gonna wanna download this. It'll only take a second. Then I'm gonna go into my finder, and just extract this. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. It'll take just one second to complete that. And then, in your desktop, you'll have this. Now what I'm gonna do is create a new folder, and I'm gonna call it Fortnite. Fortnite Blender. And I'm gonna put all these files in there. So now we have this. We're just gonna launch you model. More info, run anyway. And we're gonna press these three dots over here. Navigate to Windows C. Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Content, Packs. Then we're going to check Sound, press OK, and then we're just going to paste this code in the description. If you want to know where to find this code, it'll be right here. If for some reason it doesn't work, that means uh, just click on this link and navigate to page 1. And then just find the latest AES key right here. But mine will work for now. So I'm just going to get this. And I'm going to check flat view. And I'm just search for any character you want. And then put mesh. And one thing you must note about this is sometimes the names of the Fortnite characters in the game don't match the ones in here. Uh, so you just have to do a little searching, but luckily Moisty Merman does. So I'm just gonna scroll through until I find this. As you can see, there's ones name that have almost identical names, but you have to look at the very end. You see it says Skeleton at the end, and this one says NMBP at the end. You just want to have the one that has nothing after body. So if I just navigate to the latest version of Unreal, you'll see we have it right here, and then we just need to go Tools, Export Current Object. Now I'm just going to file Open Package, and find here, you see this one is Physics, so we don't want that one. This one is Skeleton, we still don't want it. And a BP. Here it is, very first one, I must have missed it. Okay. Now you'll see we have this mesh, uh, tools, export, current object. Now, I will be back in just a second, I'm going to switch over to my Mac, and uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because my Windows machine gets kind of glitchy sometimes when I'm exporting all these files back and forth, so I'm just going to switch over once to my Mac, and I'll see you there in just a second. Alright everyone, I am back on my Mac. And as you can see, I've got the file right here. Everything is still here. Everything is the same. I'm just on a different machine. And we're going to need one more thing. We're going to need a thing called a PSK importer. So. All we need to do is... No, actually, we don't need to do this. We can just download it. So. I'm just going to put this into my desktop. And I'm gonna put this into my Fortnite Blender just so it's easy for me to find. And now, what we need to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into Blender. Now that I am in Blender, we're just gonna left click to get rid of that little pop up and X to delete the default cube. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything in the scene so that we have a nice clean scene. Okay. And yep. And now, what we need to do is we gotta go File, User Preferences, uh, Install Add-on, Install Add-on from the File, and then what we need to do is we need to click. We go down here. I'm gonna find my desktop, Fortnite Blender, and Install Add-on from the File. We need to press this check and say Save User Settings. Okay, and that's all we should need to do. And so. Now we just gotta go file, import, PSK skeleton mesh, 
and we're just going to find where we have our U model export folder. Click that, go to characters, player, and then here just navigate to where it is and you'll be confronted with bodies or heads. I'm going to start with bodies, click on him, then find this meshes folder and open that up. And you'll notice he's not very smooth looking. He's kind of, actually I'm going to go into cycles render. He's kind of blocky looking, I guess. And the reason for that is because we don't have smooth shading turned on. So we just got to go over here and select him, press smooth, and as you can see, he looks a lot better. So now I'm going to go ahead and import another PSK. I'm going to go back to where I found heads and head, and again, make this smooth. So now he's pretty much done. Except for if you press Shift Z to render him, you'll see uh, there's no material on him. So uh, before I, we get into the materials, I'm just going to show you that everything on Moisture Merman works. And you see, I can move the tongue. That's a little bit of a bad example because, like, it's just a tongue. But as you can see. If I press RX, I can rotate his arm just like it does in the game. So, this is pretty good. So, now I'm just going to go into my node setup. I'm going to go over here to my nodes. And let me just expand this view. Okay. And now you'll see we have two of them here. You could delete the bottom one, that you could do that, but I'm not going to just because I find it good practice to keep both of them. And I'm going to rename them. This one's going to be body one it's always good to have good tech named textures this one's going to be named body two actually i need to press the little plus icon over here and make this one body one and this one body two okay so i'm just going to select body one i'm going to get rid of this diffuse and i'm going to add a principled bsdf just like that and I'm gonna take this BSDF put it straight onto surface so now if we take a quick render you can see that it's not like weird looking or anything this just looks like a BSDF but once we get uh, our stuff in here it won't so I'm just gonna search for an image texture and I'm gonna press open we press desktop for night blender you all like characters player Okay, and then we're going to navigate here, but instead of pressing meshes, we're going to select textures, and we're going to select D, and then I'm going to duplicate this two times, and for the bottom two, this is going to be non-color data, and so is this one, the top one is going to be our color data. So I'm going to move these just over here so that I have a lot of room to work with, and uh, from our first one, we're just going to put it onto the base color. And now if we press shift Z, you'll see that it is looking much better here. A little bit of stuff like on the shoulder and on the feet are looking a little bit weird, but that's what this second one will do. Okay, and now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select material, just so we can have a good look at what we're dealing with. And then for the next one, I'm going to shift A. Just search RGB and find separate RGB, then color to color, and R, or no, we don't do anything with R, G is going to go to metallic, just like that, and B is going to go to roughness, just like that, but as you can see, didn't really do anything besides have this like weird sheen, and the reason for that is because we don't have our S map, I don't quite know what it stands for, I think it may be specular, but just find S right here, and as you can see now, everything is shiny where it's supposed to be, like that zipper is nice and shiny, but the rest of him is a lot less shiny, so that's what this metallic little one did here. So for the last one, it's going to be our normal map, this one's easy, we just have to see. map, as always, color to color, normal to normal. And he's gonna look a little bit weird until we open up our end map. So now he is completely textured, 
and what the normal map did there was uh, make him look like he had a little more depth, like in these bubbles here a little bit or whatever those are. So yeah, that's all the nodes set up. And then for this one, I'm actually just going to select body 1, make a little plus here, and call it body 2. There we go. So now I have everything, and as you can see, adding body to texture this bit over here and its feet. So now that's completely textured. And on the head, we only have one, but I'm gonna just select body one, then I'm gonna press plus, and I'm gonna say head one. And the node setup is pretty similar. Obviously, we're gonna have to go over to heads. D, this one is S map. So now his head's textured, but you'll see one thing if I go back here. We have a, a map named E for emission. So if you know Moisty Merman, his eyes light up a little bit. So uh, we're going to make that happen. And so what we need to do for that is just add another one of these. This one is going to be color data, actually. Switch this to color. And then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna interrupt here for the mix shaders. Mix shader, just pop it in between those. And the color of this is gonna go to the factor of this. And uh, from here, we're gonna make an emission. Emission. And take the color of this one here put it into the color of there then we're just going to mix that into the bottom so just like that uh, I think. Hmm. ah Hold up, I have to figure out this. I think I may have to change some settings in here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. So as you can see, this is the normal map. We just want to select the, well, yeah, the mission map. That one, uh, that was stupid of me. I apologize for that. Yeah, and as you can see, now that is working. I'm gonna say put the strength to like 10. Okay. And so yeah, that's the end of this tutorial, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.